know, it's been a minute that, since I've been on here. Um, a lot's happening, and I'm going to try to do an update video soon. Um, don't mind this. I just got off work, and I just didn't feel like doing anything with myself yet. So, um, I'm going to do a Sephora haul. Um, we were in Colorado not that long ago, a couple weeks ago. Um, and we went to Sephora, we being me and Ryan. And um, I got a couple things that I need to pick up. And so, I wanted to haul them for you. Um, I was going to vlog when we were in Colorado, but I don't know. It just didn't end up happening. But the first thing I needed to go to Sephora for was I needed a new foundation um, because I ran out of my Benefit. Um, Oxygen Wow, you know, whatever that one is. And um, I wanted to get another, like, high-end foundation. And I was going to repurchase the Benefit one, but then I was like, hmm, do I want to? What do I want to try? I want to try something different. So I picked up the Urban Decay Naked Skin um, foundation. This one is the Weightless Ultra Defying Liquid Makeup. And it's 30 ml. Um, I have already used it. Woo! Girl! Um, I do want to try to do a tutorial for you guys soon using all the stuff because I love it. Um, but this is what the bottle looks like. It's just glass and it's a pump, which is always nice. Um, and this is the color shade. It's the shade 1.0. I'm really light right now. I need to tan. But I got that and I'm loving it. Love it so much. It was on, like, amazing. Um, the next thing I needed to get was a concealer. I had a hard time deciding between the Benefit. Oh, what was it? Mm, it's the one Benefit one. Can't think of what it is. But I decided to end up going with the Race Paste instead of the other one. And I got the color number one fair. Um, and I've been using it tremendously. Um, which I love this because a little bit of it goes a long way. It's very creamy. Um, I like potted concealers, but I also like the um, my Rimmel one that's like a push and it like comes out the brush. That one. I love that. Um, but I really like potted and panned um, concealers versus like sticks and I like sticks. Um, so I got that. Okay. And then the um, another, number one thing besides the foundation that I went to Sephora for was I needed to repurchase my benefits. Their real mascara, my holy grail. I've purchased this three times. Sorry. Um, this is the third one I've repurchased. Um, I'll continue to repurchase. I love this stuff. It's amazing. Um, and while I was over there, I decided to pick up one of the Their Real Push Up Liners. Um, just because I needed a new like liquid gel liner. And I thought I would give it a shot since I was browsing over there. Um, I'll tell you though, I've only used this one time so far, and um, I don't know, I'm going to have to play with it a while to figure it out, because it just, some of, I don't know, I wasn't, I wasn't sure yet how I felt about it, so um, I'm going to have to mess with that a little bit more before I decide if I like it or not. And then the two things that I saw that I had to have once I saw them was the Too Faced melted um, with gloss things, the um, long, liquefied longwear lipsticks. Um, and I got melted frosting, which is the pink, and then melted sugar, which is like the nudie brown color. Um, and I was definitely impressed with them. Let me swatch them for you. I really thought I was going to like the sugar, melted sugar, um, a lot. Here's the swatches. This one is 
melted frosting, and this one is melted sugar. Um, I thought I was going to like them, like I thought I was going to like this a lot, but it um, kind of washed my skin out a little bit. And this one was really bright, so what I like to do is I do this one first, and then I pop this like on the inners of my lips, kind of spread it out. Love it. Favorite lip combo ever right now. In love. And they do last a really long time. I, I just adore them. I do think I might go pick up a few more, but I'm not sure yet. Um, and something else I wanted to get while I was there was some brushes. So I just grabbed this little brush roll. This is the face one. It's the Sephora brushes. Um, it looks like this. It's got the um, it's got the Sephora blotting papers, which I haven't even used um, or taken out. I'm not oily, so. But the only brush I've used so far is the flat top one. Um, this is the only one I've used. I've been using it for contouring. I love it. It's super soft. Um, I love it. And then I got this little one. It's like angled contour. I haven't used it yet. And then the small stipple brush, which I also have not used, but they're so soft. I love them. And um, I'll tell you though, I did go to pick up one of the NARS, um, you know, the NARS contour brushes, and they were freaking sold out, but what are you going to do? So, um, the last thing that I purchased was a beauty blender. So, I got a, blue, a beauty blender, just the pink one, the original. Um, so, I have that, and then I got a free um, beauty blender salad cleaner. With my purchase, I spent $300. I bought Ryan and Armani the code cologne. He's been wanting it, so we bought him that. But other than that, that's all I got from Sephora. So, um, look forward to a huge update coming up. Um, sorry about my hair and my no makeup. But um, just be looking forward to a huge, huge update. And um, I will try to see you guys soon. Um, and as soon as I tell you about the update, I will tell you that we will definitely be doing a lot of family vlogs coming up in the month of March if the update happens the way it's supposed to happen. So I will hopefully be filming on a regular basis. And I will be looking forward to talking to you guys soon. Bye, guys.